So I was like, I have to know who makes this lipstick. Well, here I am again with another makeup review. This time it's gonna be lipsticks, lip stuff. So the other day I was on Instagram and I was just scrolling, you know, my happy self, scrolling, looking at everything. All of a sudden I see this lipstick that is like covered in glitter and it has glitter inside like in the lipstick and and the whole lipstick has glitter all over it and i'm like <sighs> i just love shiny things i love glitter i just love it so i was like i have to know who makes this lipstick i thought it was going to be somebody really fancy like chanel or something but no it was actually makeup forever and i went to their website and lo and behold Is that a sale I see? That's a sale. So like a lot of the lipsticks were up to 40% off, including the one that I wanted. So it was like the universe screaming at me saying, you should get the lipsticks. So I got the lipsticks. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you guys, I got my package today with the lipsticks that I ordered. And I got a few lipsticks and I got a little gift from them as well um, that I want to show you guys. All right, so I'm going to leave the best ones for last, which are the glitter ones. Those are my favorite. Like, you guys have no idea how beautiful they are. Well, if you've already seen them, then you have an idea. I ended up getting five, lip, five lips and, and then they gave me a gift. So I'm going to start with this one and i'm gonna put my glasses on i think i still have the sticker on these glasses uh you know when you get to a certain age when you get to a certain age you just have to wear reading glasses man all right so this is the first one that i got and this is called artist rouge light and it says rouge professional makeup you know all that and it is in the color of artist rouge well yeah artist rouge like so this one um i had never bought anything for makeup forever like i had heard about the brand all the time because i know that a lot of makeup artists use it but I had never actually bought anything. I remember one time I went to Sephora and I tried on like a bronzer or something and, and I was like, oh, that feels really good. But I never actually bought anything from them. So this is like my first time ever buying anything from Makeup Forever. And let's see, this is the lipstick, the one that I got. And let me show you the color. Oh, look at the, I like the packaging. It's cute, it says Makeup Forever right there. And then it's like, like, I don't know, I thought it was cool. And then this is the color. Like a pinky mauve color. You know I love these colors, right? I'm like, I always smell that. I think I put it on my nose. Did I put it on my nose? Probably did. Let me check it out. Okay, so I'm going to be trying all the colors. Okay, so let me try it on. Oh, okay. This is a very light color. Mm, feels really good, really creamy on the lip. pretty color I really like it and this one is in artist rouge light I really like it I think it goes really good with me with my complexion with my especially my makeup the way it is right now I did a heavy eye today do y'all like it <laughs> 
and it feels really creamy really creamy on the lip really moisturizing i would say hydrating let's see i'm gonna take it off now so that i can try on the other one all right so i took it off and that came off really easy i feel like it's more of a um, glossy finish I really liked it though. I did like it. It's like very natural color that pretty much goes well with everything. And then I'm gonna try this, which is the liquid lip. I got two of these. I got two of almost the same color. Like I told y'all, I like a lot of nude colors. So they these two, when I took them out, I was like, I took this one out first, which this one is, let me see the color. It's an artist nude cream. That's what it says on here, artist nude cream. And it's in the color number five, exposed. Oh, exposed. Okay. All right, so let's try exposed. Let me do it again. Let me see if the smell test. It doesn't have a smell. No fruity, no hot cocoa, nothing. It's okay though. We don't need to get hungry right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. Ah, feels creamy. Wow, I must say I really like this color. And this one is, like I said, exposed number five from the artist New Cream. And it's like a creamy finish, so it's not, it doesn't feel like so dry on the lip. I hate it whenever you put on the lip and then it gets really dry and it starts like cracking, like it gets on my nerves. Okay, I'm gonna take it off now. All right, so let's try the other one. And this one is Artist Nude Cream, also from the Nudes. And this is in the shade number six, which is called Nude. So creative with their name, right? Nude. It's from the Artist Nude Collection, and it's called Nude. Makeup Forever. Sure, you could have been a little bit more, you know, adventurous with your name. This is what this one looks like. See, I told you it's very similar to the other one. It's like almost identical, actually. <laughs> Look, it's not identical. It's a little bit different. Like this one's a little bit more brown and this one's a little bit more pinky side. But yeah, very, they look a lot. They look very similar. Let's see if they look similar when they're on. They look so similar. I don't want to get them mixed up with the put on the one that I already put on. I'm going to double check the, the color. All right, so this is a nude one. And let's see. Let's put it on. Yeah, this one is a little bit more on the pink side. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this one's really nice. I really like this one, too. Really nice. The other one has more of a little brown to it, and this one's got more pink. But they're both nudes. They're both beautiful colors. They feel really good on, really good on the lip. It kind of feels like creamy, like, um, like a lipstick, like a regular lipstick, like one of these. Yeah, it feels really good. I like them. I really, really like the colors. Makeup forever, that's good. You're on my good list. <laughs> I really like them. So let's take it off and then we're gonna try the glitter one. Save the best for last. <laughs> Watch them not even be all that. <laughs> and I'm all like, save the best for last. I literally haven't tried any of this, so it's my first time trying it. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of the um, Garnier. Let me tell y'all something about this Garnier bottle of of uh, sponsored. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, when I got this at the store, I it says rose water infused. No, it says rose water micellar water cleansing water, right? So I saw it like this. I was like, oh my gosh, rose water. Because I'm like obsessed with everything rose water. So like I got it, right? So when I poured it, when I came home and, and I used it for the first time, I got my little pad. I poured my little water. And then I looked at the pad and it's clear. Then I was like, what? I thought it was rose water. Like I thought the water was pink. It's not the water that's pink, it's the bottle. I don't know if you can tell. You may not be able to because the suds. But it's the bottle. Literally, it's just the bottle. The water's still clear. I was like, I thought the water was pink. It's a ripoff. Just kidding. I just thought it was pink because I use I use some uh, rose water for my face and it's pink. So I just thought that all rose water stuff was pink. It's just a bottle. Like, oh well. I want to make sure I take everything off really good because I want those lipsticks to like bling. They better bling. I have really high expectations for them so they better bling. I have a lipstick all over my teeth, literally. You know, that's one thing about these teeth. If you haven't seen my other videos, you know that I wear the shiny smile veneers. And um, before, when I didn't have teeth, no, I had teeth, but they're very little and, you know, very, very little teeth. And um, I never had that problem with the lipstick on my teeth. Like, I would see... I'm gonna clean them. I would see the models like on TV, like they would do their lipstick and then they'd be like, to put the thumb in their mouth and like pull it out to make sure that the, the lipstick got out. And like, I never got that. I was like, why would the lipstick get on their teeth? You know, but I had no idea that that actually happened. <laughs> now that I actually had teeth to for my lipstick to get on, like sometimes I'll be recording a video and like I'll halfway through it I'll realize that my lipstick my teeth are full of lipstick so then I have to reshoot it <laughs> so it's quite frustrating sometimes because I want this this uh, lipstick to really pop I'm gonna do a little bit of um, makeup on this area just to make my lips more like a blank canvas I just put a little bit of makeup on my mouth area and I'm gonna blend it in Cause I want to give those, I want those lipsticks to really shine. They're so pretty, you guys. They're so cute. Uh, they're called Makeup Forever uh, Artist Sparkle, Rouge Artist Sparkle. And the the um, packaging is so freaking cute. Look, isn't that cute? Uh, I loved it. I love the packaging. This one is the Glittering Sandstone. Okay, let's try it. Watch, let me show you guys. They're so freaking cute. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Doom, 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 doom. Okay, never mind. All right, look. Wow. This is so beautiful. Ah, I'm so in love with these lipsticks. And I haven't even tried them yet. So let's see. I'm scared I have too much expectation for them. And they're going to let me down. So don't let me down. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? Let's try them. Oh. 
All they're doing with the outside. But they're all like that, even the in the middle. I wonder if I do it with the outside. What do you guys think? You know what it reminds me of? Now that I see it on, it reminds me of a dreamsicle. I liked it, but I think I'm more obsessed with the way it looks like on the actual lipstick than I am with the color. I mean, I do like it. It reminds me like of a dreamsicle. And it also feels very creamy. All right, let's take it off. And we're gonna try on the other one. But even though it's got glitter in it, like it doesn't feel like it's got glitter in it. It feels very creamy. So, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Honestly, I had a little bit of higher expectation for the color. I thought it was going to be a little bit more glittery. <laughs> I don't know how it would look if it was more glittery though. It would maybe look a little ridiculous, but... I'm a little ridiculous, so, you know. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead and matte it out again. And this one's called Dazzling Ruby. Let's see this one. Let me get my phone. So I like to put extra light on it for the effect. Okay, you ready? Wow! Look at that. Like, I could literally just have these on display and look at them, and I would just be satisfied with that. Like, I wouldn't even have to wear it. I just love sparkle. So, let's see, Dazzling Ruby. How dazzling are you, really? Let's see. Yes, I like. You see the shine? I like it. Okay, Dazzling Ruby, okay. I kind of feel like I like this one a little bit better than the other one. Well, I like them both because I do like the other one too. But this one, like, I don't know. It's giving me something extra. I like it and I like extra, so. I like it. Well, I like it. <laughs> pretty impressed, pretty impressed with them, with my purchase. I think it was worth it. I got all of that for like $50. So the sale was good, ladies. Let me tell y'all. That's why I got it. And then they, they sent me a little gift. I guess my order qualified for a little gift. So they sent me this, which is, honestly, I don't even know what it is, but let me see. Highlighter and Sculpting Duo. So it's a highlighter and sculpting duo. So. Work, honey. And they gave me this. Which looks like a highlighter and blush to me. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And the highlighter has a really pretty shine to it, too. So I'm gonna try the highlighter on for you. Ooh, look at that. Let's try it on right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks nice. I already had a little bit of highlighter on, so this is like giving me extra vibes. A little bit on the top of the nose. I must say they all felt very creamy. None of them felt drying or or anything like that. The only 
issue I have with creamy makeup and with creamy lipsticks and that's fine I do like creamy lipsticks but sometimes I do like my lipsticks to last a little bit longer like I don't want them to like if I go out to eat or if I'm drinking something I don't want my lipstick to fall off and um, and I don't know if these are if these will last past a kiss so let's see no <laughs> they will not last past the kiss so I mean I think they're beautiful I really like them but they will fall off so they're not like you know they're not gonna last for like ever cuz they do fall off so yeah but above it all I was really impressed with them I definitely will be using them I love all the colors I especially love these two that I got well I liked all of them really I really did and I was so obsessed with these that I think my expectation was so high I mean I still like them I'm still gonna use them it's just that I think my expectation was higher than 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 the result but I mean they're they look really cool I like have like different dimension in the color do you see that anyway <laughs> well, there's my little review for makeup forever the lipstick the lip stuff you know and um, I hope you liked it and you know if you liked it like my video subscribe to my channel I do videos about different stuff about makeup about life about weight loss a little bit of everything <laughs> do I have my teeth full of lipstick already I swear probably do oh my gosh look see that's what I'm telling y'all I cannot that's another reason why <laughs> it's horrible my teeth that's another reason why I do like wearing lipsticks that um, that uh, matte out and that don't fall off so easily because of my teeth. So if y'all have any pointers for me, I know the finger thing, like they say to put your finger in there and pull it out when you do your lipstick. So maybe that's what I need to do every time that I do my lipstick. Because I'm going to have to wash them here in a minute. I don't want them to get stained. Yikes. We definitely don't want that guys they were expensive <laughs> I don't want them to get stained for real so if y'all have any other tips for me on how to keep the lipstick off my teeth let me know let me know in the comments <laughs> that's like a problem that I never had before until I had teeth until now that I have actual normal looking teeth <laughs> But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. And um, would I recommend the Makeup Forever lipsticks? I really do, did like them. I really like the colors. They're very creamy, very nice to put on. Will they stay on for a long period of time? I don't believe so. Not these at least. Maybe they have a different line that does stay on longer. But these particular ones that I got, which were looks like they were pretty much all creamy, they don't look like they would stay on and uh, for like... A long time but um but I did like the colors a lot so I will give them that and I'm obsessed with the dazzling ones you know that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have those and <laughs> I'm just gonna have those just to see them but uh no I'm just kidding I'm probably gonna wear them all the time more than likely but um anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> bye